we were looking at division and multiplication and what we if you remember was saying that multiplication is the opposite of division and do you remember how we've used the multiplication square um, before to do our dividing so we've got this blank square and what we want you to do is actually build up a multiplication square so I've got these little cards these little numbers and we're going to be using blue tack and just sticking on numbers okay so what you might want to consider is um, using patterns as you're doing it um, and it's a whole group activity so when you do it you've got to decide on who's going to be doing what talk to each other and kind of discuss um, how you're going to go about doing it what I'm going to do is put this on the whiteboard the numbers are over there so, and the blue tack is so you're just gonna to have to go to the box and start building up this multiplication square what I'll do first is I'll actually put um, the 1 to 10 across here and then down there and then you can start trying to build up the square okay and try and bear in mind your division when you're doing it okay the idea of this is because we've had a week off as well yeah. is just really to go back and have a look at what we've done okay so I mean I'm here to help you it's not you're not by yourselves okay would you like to put that up for me where you think it'll go yeah. it's a blue tag like that yeah you've got quite a few <laughs> So some of those, you might already be aware where they might go. Yeah. So Sonia, what have you got? What numbers have you got? Four, five, eight and ten. Okay, so where do you think they'll go? Um, Good. Go there? Yeah. Okay. Yes, please. Good. What have you got? Ten. Eight and ten. Where do you think, which multiplication, which table do you think they might be in? Ten eights, no? No, that is. Okay. I've lost that. When we look at this number, what's yeah. the difference between these two numbers? Is it going up or down? No. Well, that's, that's going up the ten. Okay, and how much is it going up by? Two. Two, okay. So two eights. Not two no, eights, no, two, two. but that gives us an indication of which two table eights. it might be in. Twos. Twos. Yeah. Well done. Okay. So I'll put it. Well, Where would you put it? Two twos. times table. Yeah, twos. Okay, yeah. if we look along here, yeah. we can see which tables each That's column twos. is. Yeah, well twos. done. So if you put it there, Noreen, and let's yeah. just check two. that two times four oh. is. Or yeah, or there are four twos in eight. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Good. Okay. I want you to kind of support each other and help each other yeah. when you're doing this. Okay. And if you're not sure, ask each other. Mm. Okay. Mm. What What are you doing, um, Sonia, to help you? Put the numbers on. Oh, I'm just going along there doing the two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. So I want to just right. do so two times table. Okay. Dulcie, are you using the method? Yeah. Yeah? What, how are you doing it? Okay. Good. Because your seven times table is quite strong, isn't it? So. Okay. Good. Lovely. Where do you think this go? Is Yes, it is. Four is, is it? Is it eight and eight? It's two. It's two down. Two eights. Two eights. Yeah. Two, four, eight. Yeah. Eight. two, four, eight. Two, eight. Two, eight. Which table? Two eights are sixteen. Two eights are sixteen. And twenty-four. And how many eights are twenty-four? Three. Three, okay. Three eights are twenty-four. So you're looking um, for... Three times. That'd be three times. Yes. Three times and two times. Three times and two. What, what are you multiplying? Um, two. You said two eights, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like two. Okay, so look for two eights. Yeah? That'd be here. Yeah. Two yeah. eights or are sixteen. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, two eights are sixteen. So two eights is sixteen. Eight and eight is sixteen. Yeah, it? that's mm -hmm. correct. 
and so we've come closer to here. Yeah. So. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then just check, Dulcie. One times eight is eight. eight. Mm -hmm. How many eights in sixteen? Two, two eights. Two eights. Two and then how many eights in twenty-four? Yes. Three. 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 So yeah. that's right. Yeah. So, okay. So you can check into each one yeah. individually. So we stick it down here, yeah? Put yours on mm -hmm. Is it around here? Yeah. yeah. It's actually correct. We don't yes, need to sir. cut it. No, cut it. Why, why so do you we think we need to cut it? We cut it, it would have... Um, four eighths. It's four eighths up to two. Okay, so you're right to put it there because right. you're doing um, four, four sevens, aren't four you? Seven. Yes. 28. Okay, you so need to check then if the next one is correct. Eight fours four are... Eights, uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I want everybody to look at this because something's gone wrong here. Um, Sonia wants to place this and she thinks it goes. She thinks it goes here, Noreen. Okay? And, and I think she's right. But if she's putting that there, there's already cards there. Um, if we look at our three times table, is 20 in our three times table? No. It's not, is it? So it's mm -hmm. in the wrong column. Okay, and do we ever see two numbers that are no. the same mm -hmm. next no. to each other? No. Okay, so those oh. two are in the wrong sections. So you take those off and put that on. Well done. Okay. How are you doing? Just Three tens of thirty. Three tens of thirty. Well I've done. Got to find three tens. Okay. Oh, it's already cut. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's, uh, Remember, the multiplication square yeah. is the same. There's the same thing happening in this corner as there is in this corner. Okay. okay. So there's three tens there, okay. and there's three tens here ten. as well. I, I can put it here. You can. Put you can. Yeah. Not there. No. Here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this one is wrong. Five, ten. This one's in the done. wrong column. Okay, well done, it is. Why, no, how do you know it's wrong? Because this is the five times, Good, and well done. It always, with the five, it's got a zero or a five. Excellent. And that was one of the divisibility the pattern, rules, yeah. wasn't it, that we looked at? Well done, Sonia. Good. What number have you got? 42. 42. Okay. Two. Okay, it's in our six times table. One, three, okay. Five threes are fifteen. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Whatever. Fifteen. Ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have we got any more to place? Mm -hmm. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. Is that it? Right. So it's a, One a bit easier now. There's two left, two Dulcie. Left. Yeah. So <laughs> good. Six sixes, six times six is... 36. Yes, there's six sixes and 36. Yeah. And 72. OK, does that look good to you? Yeah. That was really good team effort, really well done. Everybody used lots of different ways of doing it. Um, but I just want you to double check that it's correct. I've got a... I've done a blue Peter, I've got one made earlier. OK. I didn't actually make it. Uh -huh. OK. So, I want you just to have a look at it. Or you could you could have you could compare this, yeah, or see, shall we get yeah, some blue tie? Yeah. Okay. Or maybe just choose a couple and say, right, is seven times five thirty-five? Yeah. Just randomly choose mm -hmm. a few. Yeah, and then make a decision as a group if yeah. if you think that's all okay. Yeah. We can put down all the tens, ten, twenty, thirty. And I'm checking at the same time as he was nineteen hundred. Yeah. It just goes down the count, you know. Yeah, that does Two, go four, four, down six, count. Eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, yeah, 20, 20. Yeah, because that's going up in ones and twos. Two, three. And does it look good to you, Dulcie? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. What other activities could you use to review understanding of multiplication at this level? For what other purposes could you use the multiplication square as a resource in numeracy teaching? What observations can you make about the learner's understanding of multiplication facts? Remember we did at the beginning, um, we looked at the words to do with dividing 
and earlier on we looked at words to do with multiplying times, yeah? And the signs there as well. Do you remember we did that communication task where we drew the sign? Yeah? So that might kind of help, help you. So just take a box. It's this, you know, got the same things in it and I just want you to do a matching exercise. Once you're kind of happy and you're kind of committed to what you've done, I want you to just to write them down on the sheet because I just want a record of, of what you've done. OK? So maybe move your... Do you want to move your books or something? Or give yourself some space? If you need any help with the reading, don't hesitate to ask. There'll be some words that kind of mean the same thing. I don't want to give you too much information because then I'm giving the thing away. Remember, we actually, I gave you this um, as a worksheet, but then we laminated and cut it out, cut it out and put it in the front of your folder. Do you remember that, Darcy? Yeah. OK. Are you happy with that that means that? I'm happy. Do you want to maybe put it in a, a row going down? Just because otherwise we might get um, confused. Mm. You're saying that this and that go together, yeah? Mm. And you're saying that this, so we can put it in a row, okay. yeah? Mm. Mm. What I didn't tell you is there might be, there might be one or two words mm. that don't actually match. Okay? okay? Mm. You okay, Sonia? Yeah, but some, um, some of them is a bit, I don't know. Okay, which words then? Um, um, you'd point to it if it's the reading. Like, um, okay, groups, groups up. and groups. Or... Okay, shall we put the ones that you're unsure about to one side? Yeah. Okay, and put the ones that you are sure about together, and then we'll discuss okay. them as a group. So, which ones have you put with the divide sign so far? Ah, uh, multiplies times. Okay. Good, OK. So you're going to put them in a the column as well, yeah? Yeah. OK. That's fine. This one, we just do the line like that. Um, I, at this stage, oh. don't worry about writing anything down. OK. okay. Well done. OK. Yeah, so you're putting the sign with the uh, words as well. Good. That's, that's the, the, the division sign. The division sign. Right? Divide. Divide, yeah. OK. Uh, I Shared yeah. by leftover. Okay, I'm going to put that okay. to one. That's yeah. debatable. All right. We'll debate yeah. that. Yeah. Divide. That's right. Let's divide. Share, isn't it? Share, that's by. what we're doing. Same, yeah. Divide by. Divide, divide into, into half. Into. Well done. Half. Is that right? Now yeah. the multiplication is twice. Multi twice, good. Multiply by times. Multiply yeah. Multiply again, yeah. Well done. Right. Okay, so which ones no. are you not sure about? Um, I said that's the group. Yeah, you could put that in divide. And divide. Yeah. Groups are again divide, yeah. OK. It's the same as... Are these your ones that you're not sure about? Yeah. OK. OK, let's have a look at what you've done. Divide by, divide oh, into, yeah. half, yeah. left over, share by, share, and lots of... OK. Um, can you think of a sentence where you might use lots of in dividing? Remember, we did some Yeah, if you have sweets, you have okay. lots of okay. sweets. That's lots of sweets, show. OK. What I just said to Noreen was three lots of two or three lots of four. Yeah. Yeah. Would that be dividing or multiplying? Mm -hmm. Three lots of four. It's the same as... If you multiply. Multiply, yeah. OK, good. And I just... That <coughs> word remainder, do we have remainders when we're multiplying? Is it the same? No. Yes. No. When do we have remainders? When something's no, left yeah. over. When something's no, left over. Divide. Excellent. Are you? I've done it. OK, yeah. all right. Yeah. So yeah. How, have you, how have you done it? OK, so you've matched that with that. So OK, so you've kind of put them together, have you, like this? Yes. Yeah. OK, yeah. It's the same right, as that's oh. divide. So is, is it OK if I just put them in yeah. a column yeah. like this? OK. Yeah. Multiply. So where's the multiply sign? Put that, multiply, twice, twice, yeah. If you do something yeah. twice, you're multiplying. Yeah. Okay, so that's the multiplication sign, though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You never went yeah, every writer. Time sign, yeah. yeah. So Which is the same. Okay. Um, multiply and times are the same thing. Remember, we use different words. And it's something that I think is a problem, isn't it? Yeah. That word multiply, I don't think you've got the hang of yet. Um, multiply, multiplication table. But times is, is a common one. Yeah. Okay. Right, remainder. Okay, what I want you to do is just write those words and the sign, yeah, yeah in these columns. Right. Does it look so familiar look now, Darcy? Mm -hmm. Does that yeah. look familiar to you? Yeah. Do you remember familiar. we made the resource? Yeah. And we laminated that, and that's at the front of your folder? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. When I'm going over this, I'll do those with you as well, okay? I'll just write them. Yeah. Yeah, the ones that you were sure about are those ones, yeah? Okay. Right, shared, buy and share are the same, but what section would you put them under? Um, so what we're doing is, what we're doing is just write down the Lots of. Yeah. Lots of. Um, yeah. I've heard you say three lots of two. Yeah. Before. Is it a multiplier? It is, yes. yeah. I've, I've actually, yeah, you've used that before. Divided into and divided by. So you've put them together, but which one would they go under? Good. OK. What about half? When you halve something, are you multiplying or are you, are you dividing? Dividing. Good. You're sharing, aren't you? Yeah. Well done. OK. Sonia, shall we have a look at the ones here? OK. Right. Twice. Which one do you think that would go under? Um, if something occurred twice... Will it be divided? No, it would actually be multiplied. Yeah, okay. twice. Um, we had two lots of something. Yeah, so that would be oh. multiplied. Okay? Okay. Right, what about double? When you double something, what do you do? Are you sharing it or are you multiplying? Are you dividing or multiplying? You multiply. You do. Have you ever played darts before? Yeah. Yeah, and you can get doubles, can't yeah. you? Okay. Right, next one. Group. Okay. Now these group and groups of are quite similar. Group is actually when you divide something, you can put them into and groups. Groups because you can split them. That's up. what we did. Yeah. Remember on the first session. Good. Okay. So this one's going to go in there. Okay. And this is. It's a difficult word, isn't it? Equivalent. 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 So. Yeah. Have you come across that word before? I think so. Yeah. Is equivalent to. It means is the same as. It's multiply. Yeah, that divide. one's a trick one. Okay. That was it's a, not with it. No, it's not. Is equivalent to is like it's the same as, and it's actually if we had an equal sign, it would go with oh. the equal one. Okay. I did say at the beginning that there may be one yeah. or two. Okay. This one groups of that could go under multiply as well. Because okay. when you multiply, you can have groups of lots of things, couldn't you? Yeah. OK, well done. OK. What other ways can you think of to revise the use of language to express these mathematical concepts? What kinds of difficulties might learners have with this type of activity? How could you develop the activity to encourage more collaborative learning?